Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to the bright side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on the bright side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body? what is in the world of biology standard operating procedure because the human biological system is always a healing system a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a, on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle it really is just the way the body works if you're dealing with a health challenge chronic degenerative health challenge, if you have questions about your medications, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share and want to contribute to the conversation, likewise, 844-236-6010. Or if you heard something on the news or read something or somebody told you about an ingredient or formulation and you want some clarification or some understanding, 844-236-6010 is our number. We welcome your phone calls. Try to call in early so we can get to as many calls as possible. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program or if you want to join the longevity team, Join the Brightside Ben team. Head over to brightsideben.com and you can click on the Join the Team link right off the website. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a business, earn thank you checks for helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Or you can just get your products at the wholesale price if you so desire. Call the phone team at 866-735-2470 or sign up right off the website, brightsideben.com or my blog, pharmacistben.com or my new blog, criticalhealthnews.com. Okay. Welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're finishing up here with some short-chain fatty acid stuff. I want to talk, well, I probably won't get to talk about a couple more things about nitrates and nitrates. I want to talk a little bit about skin today, too. Last we spoke, we were talking about how these short Fats, I'm just going to call them short fats or SCFAs. They're energizing molecules. They're easy for cells and for the body to convert into energy. That makes them ideal for fasting. That's how the body runs on fasting or runs while fasting. A lot of folks say, well, I'm not going to have any energy if I fast, if I don't eat. I need to eat to get energy. No, you don't. You don't need to eat to get energy. Ask anybody who's fasted. They'll tell you. You actually have more energy when you don't eat. Now, how the heck does that work? Well, it works partially because when we fast, we upregulate short-chain fatty acids, short fat production, and short fats can be used for energy. So, as it turns out, when you don't eat, you have energy. This is an evolutionarily adaptive mechanism. The brain in particular is fueled by these short-chain fatty acids, and the brain in particular, when it's fueled by these short fats, has a calming effect, and it's this calming effect, as we said yesterday, that accounts for SCFA's tremendous, tremendous value for bodybuilding, for weightlifters, for athletes, for folks who are recovering from surgery, for folks who want to lose weight, for elderly people, for people in a nursing home. This calming effect of the short fats accounts for a lot of the benefits associated with vinegar, particularly apple cider vinegar, which contains minerals. There's a short fat we talked about a couple days ago called propionate, and this propionate is sometimes added artificially to processed foods, especially grains and cereals, propionate. Propionate is a, uh, you'll see it on the ingredient deck as calcium propionate, or sometimes you'll see sodium propionate. It's a bread preservative or cereal preservative, and it's unusual in the world of fats, like all, S, uh, like all short fats, because it's half water-soluble, half fat. 
And it's this fatty, watery, dual nature that accounts for its ability to get through bacteria and fungal cells and, and then enter into the cell where it can do its killing work, its antimicrobial work. And this dual nature, this watery, fatty nature, everything in, in chemistry can be said to be water-soluble or fat-soluble, but some things have a dual nature, like these short fats are watery and they're fatty. And it's a common theme in the world of preservatives. This is one of the reasons why coconut oil is such a great per, uh, antimicrobial. Coconut oil has medium fats, not short fats, but medium fats. But these medium fats also have a certain degree of water solubility. Not quite as water soluble as the short fats, but they still have some water solubility. And this accounts for coconut oil's wonderful antimicrobial properties. And it also accounts for coconut oils sudsing or detergent or cleansing properties. Now, coconut oil by itself isn't good at suds, and it, it'll cleanse a little bit, but the, uh, there are chemicals in coconut oil that can be extracted via processing, and many shampoos and skin cleansing products and detergents contain these coconut oil derivatives. Did you know sodium lauryl sulfate, the famous sodium lauryl sulfate, is a, at least partially a coconut oil derivative. These days, it's probably made artificially, but Initially, it was a coconut oil derivative. In fact, many, you'll see cocoa betaine sometimes, or cocoa metopropyl betaine. When you see cocoa, C-O-C-O, -C -O, it's a coconut oil-like substance. Usually, as I say these days, it's not extracted directly from coconut oil through organic chemistry. They figured out how to make these things artificially, but the chemical structure is similar to the stuff that's in coconut oil. Why? Because of the MCTs. Why? Because MCTs, medium fats, are watery and fatty and that gives them detergent properties. That's what a detergent is, by the way, or a cleanser. A cleanser is a chemical that can interface with water from the tap and dirt in your hair or dirt on your skin. Dirt tends to be oily, and by combining water with the dirt, bridging, if you will, or adapting, like an adapter, the water from the tap with the, uh, with the oil from your face or from your hair, that's where dirt is. Dirt is located in the oil part of your skin. These detergents, half water, half fat, can pull everything together, rinse it all down the drain. That's how a cleanser works. Cleansers are always half, half uh, watery and half fatty. Soap is the classic, classic cleansing agent, obviously, and soap is half watery, half fatty. That's why it cleans. Short fats in general have an interesting relationship to the skin, and this is particularly evident when it comes to vinegar. Acetic acid. Acetic acid. Uh, vinegar is an acetic acid solution. It's a solution of short fats. Acetic acid being a short fats. Typically, vinegar will be around 5 to 10, maybe 15% acetic acid, short fats. And uh, vinegar is, is actually the smallest of the short fats. And uh, the fact that it's so small, so tiny, and the most watery of the short fats gives it some really interesting skin properties. If you look at your bottle of vinegar in your, uh, in your, medicine, in your uh, kitchen cabinet, it looks like a water, but technically it is a fat. This is almost paradoxical dual nature as a watery fat or a fatty water, if you prefer. In combination with its tiny size, acetic acid is minuscule in the world of mo molecules. The combination of its dual nature and, and tiny, tiny size allows it to be particularly helpful for modifying the surface of the skin. The surface of the skin also has a fatty nature. The skin surface is technically called the stratum corneum. That means hard layer in Latin, strata, meaning layer, cornea, meaning hard. That's the hard layer. And even though it doesn't look like it, there's a thin layer of almost a fingernail-like material that coats the skin, hence the term hard layer. This thin fingernail-like coating on the skin has fats interspersed with it, and the combination of this hard fingernail-like coating, which is made of protein, and fats gives the skin a water-repelling effect. You're like wearing a raincoat on the, on the top of your skin. Think microscopically thin biochemical raincoat covering the skin. And this microscopically thin fingernail-like coating interspersed with fats that covers the skin, this raincoat-like covering on the skin, keeps water in, keeps water out, and accounts for the moisturization and the hydration, or a lot of the moisturization, hydration of the skin. You can upregulate and improve the water repellent properties and the water trapping properties by using apple cider vinegar. I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, 
we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. Got a couple lines open for you. Our number is uh, 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in a second. Uh, let's see. I want to tell you here. Hopefully, uh, some of you guys are going to be at the convention, the Longevity Convention, tomorrow. I'll be there for a few days, Wednesday through Saturday. If you see me walking around the hallways, stop by and say hello. One thing about the Longevity Convention is you see all the people who've lost weight, who've had their blood pressure, uh, who've dropped blood pressure points, who've dropped, uh, whose blood sugar has dropped, who've gotten off their medications. I mean, it's endless almost, over and over and over again. There's probably a thousand, I don't know, maybe a couple thousand people that come to the convention, maybe more. And uh, I'm telling you, it is absolutely amazing how many people you see that have been impacted positively by the longevity supplements, the longevity message of nutritional supplementation and good health and, and wellness, of beauty through good health, of feeling better without drugs and medication. And you really get to see this at the convention. If you're a, a part of the longevity family, I really encourage you to, uh, if you can't make it this year, come next year, uh, or, or just really interact with folks because you really, really, really get inspired. I can't tell you how, when I come back from the convention, I am so pumped, and I'm sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. And that'll be, uh, the convention is tomorrow, goes through Sunday. I'll be there Wednesday through Saturday. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking a little bit about the skin. I'm going to spend a few days talking about the skin. Uh, a lot of things I want to say. I've always wanted to talk about the skin on this program, and I've got some new products coming out. Some of you asked me about the Truth Skin Health Treatment Systems that will be out here in the next few days. And in honor of that, I'm going to spend a couple of days anyway talking about the skin. Apple cider vinegar, short-chain fatty acid, a solution of short fats, wonderful for the skin. It takes advantage of the fact that it has a watery nature and a fatty nature, like the skin, it has a watery nature and a fatty nature, and this dual nature allows it to penetrate. Once it penetrates through the fingernail-like coating, the rain coat on the surface of the skin, it does several things. For one thing, just the, just the, the penetration tends to disrupt the surface of the skin. And this disruption of the hard barrier, the fingernail-like barrier, the stratum cornea, the hard layer, triggers growth, almost like an exercise effect. You can literally exercise your skin by using vinegar on top of the skin, acetic acid on top of the skin. That means more, uh, more, more skin cells, a better barrier, more water trapping, more hydration, more moisturization, thicker and stronger skin. This disruption of the hard fingernail-like barrier can lead to a sloughing off of dead cells. That's called exfoliation. That leaves skin soft and smooth. It can also help remove some of the old pigment, giving the skin a more even tone. This is all from a $2 bottle of apple cider vinegar or distilled vinegar that you get from 7-Eleven or the supermarket. A second effect of your vinegar toner, if you will, is to penetrate through the surface. Remember, it's got a watery nature. Once it penetrates through the surface of the skin, that watery nature allows it to drip through to the bottom layers of the skin. It kind of kind of drips on down into the lower levels, and that's where all the sponges are, the moisture sponges, and that's where the collagen is, and that's where the cells that make the moisture sponges and the collagen are. All of this stuff is created in the dermis, and your apple cider vinegar, once it penetrates through the surface of the skin, it can drip down into those lo lower layers and turn on the cells that make all the good stuff. The cells that make the good stuff are activated by the short-chain fatty acids. That means more collagen, more moisture factors, more blood supply. Again, just by toning your skin on a daily or every other day basis or even a couple times a week basis with a little apple cider vinegar. This dual nature, this watery nature and fatty nature of, of the short fats and of acetic acid or vinegar, same dual nature that allows it to be an effective cleanser for mirrors and counters and for the skin for that matter, also makes it dissolve or helps it dissolve skin oils. Yeah, that's that cleansing power. Remember, these short fats and medium fats have a cleansing power. It makes it ideal for, for dissolving skin oils, especially those that are associated with acne. Acetic acid uh, vinegar solution is a short, short fat, and it's, it's very similar to alpha hydroxy acids. Many of you have heard of glycolic acid or lactic acid. These are called alpha hydroxy acids. And guess what? Acetic acid vinegar or vinegar solution or acetic acid solution is an alpha hydroxy acid. It's like glycolic acid, and you can use it as a peel. You can use it as an ac anti acne topical treatment. You can put it on a cosmetic puff or cotton ball and gently rub or even mildly scrub your skin. 
And you don't even have to restrict your treatment to the skin. You can use your acetic acid solution, your vinegar solution, or your glycolic acid solution for that matter on your back or your hands or your feet. You can improve the sloughing off of dead cells. You can smooth and soften calluses and hard, rough skin in just two or three treatments. As far as blemish skin goes, your vinegar solution, your acetic acid solution, or your alpha hydroxy acid solution, glycolic or lactic or malic acid, these can help unplug pores, prevent breakouts, speed up healing of formerly broken out skin. This is one of the benefits of using alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid for improving the appearance of blemishes and skin oils. Not only will you improve the blemishes or improve the, uh, improve the appearance of blemished skin, but you're going to speed healing too, as well as remove skin oils. Glycolic acid, lactic acid, these alpha hydroxy acids, and we're going to spend some time talking about these for the next few days. These alpha hydroxy acids can improve photo damaged skin, lighten dark spots. They're not exactly short fats, glycolic acid and lactic acid, but they're pretty close in terms of their chemical structure. In chemistry, we say like dissolves like, and that means that not only do, do these uh, fatty, short fat materials like glycolic acid and vinegar help dissolve skin oils, but they can also help improve the fatty surface of the skin or the fatty surface of a pimple that is uh, that um, bursts out on the skin. The surface of the pimple, just like the surface of the skin, has a fatty nature. So you can unroof your pimples, essentially unroof, remove that surface. You don't have to pop your zits. You can just unroof the surface and the, the uh, infectious material underneath the pimple will come off. It's perfect for, for uh, whitehead pimples. And for blackhead pimples, you can soften the little oil. Blackhead is a oxidized oil a rusty oil or rancid oil inside of a pore. And by using alpha hydroxy acids or vinegar, you can kind of loosen that blackhead. You loosen blackheads, unroof whiteheads, improve healing, lots of benefits, tremendous benefits for dealing with acne, blemished skin by using apple cider vinegar toners, glycolic acid, alpha hydroxy acid toners. Alpha hydroxy acids, by the way, are miracle skin ingredients. When it comes to non-toxicity in combination with benefits, nothing beats alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic acid, lactic acid, and even vinegar, which is not, ex well, it's an alpha hydroxy acid. It's a combination of an alpha hydroxy acid and a short fat. All right, we'll continue talking about this uh, on our next Bright Side episode. We'll also talk about some nutritional strategies you can use for the skin. We're going to spend a few days, as I say, talking about skin and skin health on the Bright Side. Time to hit our phones. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Carolyn in uh, Washington. What's up, Carolyn? How you doing? Hi, hi. Thank you, Ben. Uh, you confused me on the distilled or on the vinegar, though. I, you were using distilled and vinegar interchangeably, like it's the same thing. I, I, I thought okay. you were supposed to consume distilled vinegar. No, 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 no. First of all, distilled, you're thinking uh, distilled vinegar, distilling is just purifying. So it's purified vinegar. But apple cider, are you saying you're confused between distilled vinegar and apple cider vinegar? Well, I'm sitting here with Bragg's Organic Raw Unfiltered. and I That's the good stuff. Distilled. That's the good stuff. Yeah, That's and I would use want. distilled for cleaning Top. the house. Yes, for cleaning the house or I your skin or topically on the skin. You can also okay, use it top topically. topically on the skin. I, I didn't mean internally. Okay, we're back on the bright side talking to Carolyn in Washington. Carolyn, you there, ma'am? Hello. Yes. Hey, Hello. sorry about the sorry about the mix up. So uh, continue oh. on. Continue on. Okay. The, um, oh, there's an echo. Well, there's I'll talk echo. anyway, regardless of the echo. Okay. Um, I have Turn your radio down. If you, is your radio up, I don't have, Carolyn? No, it is not. Okay. Uh, if, hey, computer. Trevor, I don't know if, if you can do something about the echo there. There we go. That's better. Can you How's guys that? Hear that? Can you uh, hear I, echo? Yeah, I got a little echo. I'm not sure what that is, Carolyn. I, oh, I don't Carol know what's going back. on over there. Back okay, the I'll have to tell you my problem and then listen for your reply. I had itchy legs, terribly, terribly itchy from, from the ankles to up to the knees. All right, it, got it. it. Here's, here's what and you want to do with it. Form. Okay, here's, here's the thing about itching, and thanks so much, uh, Carolyn. I'm not sure what the echo was there, but uh, uh, hopefully you can hear us on the radio. Uh, here's the deal with rashes. Rashes and itches always, 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 always are an immune system reaction. You can tell this because when you go to the doctor for a rash or an itch, the brain-dead medical model will use immune system suppressants. 
they will suppress the immune system in order to get rid of the itch. Now, while suppressing your immune system to get rid of the itch may help, may give you some temporary relief, it's never a good idea to d- uh, lower your force field. That's essentially what a steroid cream does. It lowers your force field. God gave us a force field. That force field is called your immune system, and it's located largely in the digestive tract, and the rest of it is in the skin, or a lot of it is in the skin. And this is so important because we've got charlatans and people who don't love the skin, bookkeepers and business people and bankers who are in the skincare business who will tell you all kinds of nonsense about how you address skin problems. And because they don't understand chemistry, they're not going to help you. They're not going to get to the root of the problem. So if you have rosacea, if you have itching, if you have redness, if you have rashes on your skin, you have an immune system slash digestive problem. Both, digestive and immune, they're basically synonymous. So when you have a rash on the legs or anywhere in your body, or you have a redness anywhere in the body, on the skin that is, what you want to do is you want to backtrack to your digestive issues. Do a food diary, number one, and look for problem foods. I will guarantee you with 100% certitude that if there's a rash or there is some kind of itchiness on the skin, you're dealing with some kind of digestive slash immune problem. Look to foods. Eliminate problem foods. That means do a food diary. Don't try to use your memory. Do a food diary. Write down everything you eat. Write down how you feel after you eat that food in terms of your digestive system, that is. Diarrhea, constipation, bloating, heartburn, nausea, gas, whatever. And then you start to eliminate problem foods. That alone will make a huge difference. There's a couple other things I'll tell you in a second. But the biggest problem foods are going to be gluten and grains. Not just gluten, Carolyn, or anybody who's listening with this issue. Not just gluten. Gluten is a problem. But there's lots of things in grains. So the most likely suspects are going to be grains, peanuts, and legumes, eggs, and dairy. I call them the GLED foods. Grains, legumes, eggs, and dairy. And legumes include peanuts and peas and soy. The GLED foods. Grains, legumes, eggs, and dairy. Those are the most likely suspects when it comes to rashes and itches and unexplained redness on the skin. Now, you can also support the digestive system using supplements. The Biolumin Nightly Essence, tremendous supplement. The Biolumin Nightly Essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night, tremendous for digestive health. Also, all fermented foods can be very helpful. The Fucoidin Z and Z Radical, of course. Ultimate Enzymes, apple cider vinegar, great for the digestive system. That can be helpful as well. And uh, as I say, fermented foods. Uh, Also, uh, if you want to throw in a couple other things, go to the health food store and get some less of thin granules. There's a relationship between bile, that's a digestive fluid, as most of you know, and itching. A lot of times bile uh, gets dirty and that can cause problems with itching. So using lecithin, using uh, using, uh, bile salts that you can get at a health food store, you'll get some of those in the ultimate enzymes as well. And then helping build bile can also be helpful. Taurine, the amino acid taurine, the amino acid glycine, that can be also helpful for building bile. There's a B vitamin-like substance called choline that can also be helpful for building bile. So you don't have a skin problem when you have a rash on your leg. Please, unless, I shouldn't say that. 99% of the time, you don't have a skin problem. Occasionally, detergent might do it or some kind of topical thing, but that's rare. For the most part, you're looking at a blood issue. It just shows up on the skin because the proximity of the blood to the skin, they're they're neighbors. The blood is not quite all the way up to the skin, but it's close enough. And once the blood becomes dirty, that can cause immune system reactions in the skin. Please understand this. There are people who will mislead us into telling us, and mostly they're bookkeepers and business people and bankers who don't know anything about skincare. That's who's in the skincare business, you guys. It's very rare that you find a formulator and cosmetic chemist and therapist in the skincare business. Usually you have bookkeepers and bankers who don't care about the skin. And they'll tell you, oh, you just rub this on your skin. No, it doesn't work that way. If you got a rash on your leg, it may look like it's on the skin, but it's really in the blood and in the immune system. And how, does th- how do things get in the blood and the immune system? Primarily through foods. To focus on digestion, make better food choices using a food diary, eliminating problem foods, and then using all the digestive support supplements that we talk about all the time on The Bright Side. Thanks so much for your call, Carolyn. Appreciate it. Let's move on to Virginia and welcome Cindy to The Bright Side. By the way, I have lines open at 844-236-6010. Uh, man. Hey, what the heck is going on over there? It's Cindy. Hi. Hi, Ben. Was that um, you? Did What yeah, happened? Did, I don't... Oh, oh I my know, God. <laughs> I hope not. Um, okay, go, go want, ahead. What's going Okay, I wanted to tell you some really wonderful things that have happened and then ask you two questions at the end. In yes. June of last year, I started the bone soup, the apple cider vinegar, 
stop gluten, sugar, Splenda oil, and margarine. Okay. In August, I spoke with you, and I stopped the medications for constipation, which were Surfax, Ducalax, and Marilax. Okay. And I started on the longevity products you suggested for digestive healing. Okay. Now, from that time until now, these are the good things. <laughs> okay. Um, my diabetic hand syndrome affected six fingers, four are healed, two are more flexible. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, my fibromyalgia is much better. I can now flex from my neck all the way my down my back and get my hands flat on the floor with my palms down. That is awesome. And it's all with all with nutrition and with dietary strategies. Yeah. That is so cool. Congratulations. Congratulations. Spread the word. Tell everybody. Believe it or not, people don't know this still, that you don't need drugs. No, you oh, don't. Awesome. Now, I have a list if you want to hear it all. Um, my diabetic neuropathy that I developed in my hands and wrist is gone. Wow. My nearsightedness got better. I had to get my glasses changed. There's less correction. Your eyesight's improving, too. Yeah, my eyesight's improving. <laughs> my eyelashes, That's amazing. Yeah, my eyelashes are longer, and they curled all on their own. Oh, my um, gosh. Now, Cindy, let me ask you something. If somebody told you this a year ago that you could do all this with, without drugs, without doctors, on your own, what would you have said? I personally would have said it was impossible, and I wouldn't have <laughs> believed them. Isn't that amazing? That's the hypnosis we're under as a culture by the medical model. And I don't want to say the people in the medical model are evil, but the model's evil. The model is predatory, exploitative, and victimizes all uh, most of us, people who aren't, uh, aren't open-minded anyway. And thanks so much. That's awesome, Cindy. I am okay. I'm thrilled to hear that. How can we help you today? Okay. Um, let me just go down quickly because some of these I wrote to tell you the question. Um, let's see. My nails are thicker and stronger. The dark circles under my eyes are gone. People oh tell gosh. me my face glows. I am now getting at least four hours of sleep instead of two. I have energy all day long. Um, <laughs> well, that's now, tremendous. Like to to Cindy, we got to take a break. Hang tight. Okay, okay we got to take a break okay. and we'll come back. That's awesome news. You guys, if you are on the fence about nutritional supplementation, about any of the stuff we talk about here, this, this classic example, and I hear this all the time, by the way. Thank you so much, Cindy. Hang tight. We'll get back to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. Got a couple lines open for you. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you here in just a moment. Cindy in Virginia. Okay. Uh, we'll All right. Finish just up a few more things before my questions. Okay. I did have total body itching. It's okay. all gone except for the hemorrhoid. Okay. Uh, okay. I am no longer hungry and I don't crave foods. This all sounds and, great. This sounds yeah, great. And I have lost 18 pounds in, since December. Now, in January, I spoke with you with Coach Cosmo, okay? You okay. suggested that I become anabolic. In, on, I'm doing Slender FX whey, eggs, the coconut oil, and apple cider vinegar, okay. and, and weight bearing. Okay, I've done that. Um, now, constipation is my main digestive system. Okay. Um, okay. My question is this. I'm having bowel movements, and they're no longer constipated, which is a miracle in itself, because for 25 <laughs> years they were. You're but, the miracle. Um, the body's yeah, okay. the miracle. God's the, the miracle. The, the, the divine miracle. force. That's the miracle. Yes, That is the miracle. But yes. I'm only having a bowel movement every five days. Do I well, that's add not more good. fiber, or what do I do? Well, lots you could do. That. First of all, first of all, uh, you ever hear the expression "deer in the headlights"? You know the deer in the headlights. No. You ever hear? No, you ever hear that expression? Okay. No. Well, that's like a, when somebody gets scared, they'll they'll have a deer in the headlights look. When a deer is running across the road and a car is about to hit it, instead of the deer running away or uh, instead of the deer mobilizing to fight the car or to to do something you know, to resist the car, it freezes. That's called the freeze response, and that's a little known. Well, the freeze response is a little known uh, aspect of fight or flight. When we when we talk about stress, we talk about fight or flight. That means you either fight the stress or you run away from the stress. You flee. From from the stress. But there's a third aspect, and that's the freeze response. So it's really fight, flight, or freeze. And that's also known as the deer in the headlights look. Well, that's, that occurs when we're under stress. Sometimes we'll, we just get paralyzed. Do you ever wake up? Do you ever have a dream where, where you just, you're, some, there's a monster chasing you or some, some, some bad guy is chasing you and you just freeze in your dream? Do you ever have that experience? 
Uh, no? I, I'm not dreaming too much anymore. So okay. All right. Well, that's called the freeze response, and it happens to your intestines. When your intestines are, are bombarded by the enemy, they will freeze. That's ca- called constipation. Constipa- it, could, it could also be the manifestation of the, the intestines not wanting to move because they're so inflamed. And so they're, they'll, they'll tense up. They'll freeze up so they don't have to, uh, they don't have to, uh, they don't have to uh, uh, be affected by any, any kind of infection or any kind of attack on the, on the intestinal muscle or, the, or in the connective tissue. So the intestines will either freeze in response to fear or they'll freeze in response to being irritated chronically. So what you're looking at, my dear, is something getting into your intestine that your intestine doesn't like. Now, unless you're cutting your belly open and sticking it in through your, through your, uh, through your abdomen, obviously you're eating it. Okay? Yeah, that's right. So mm-hmm. you got to look to foods. Uh, dairy is a, uh, you said you're doing the whey protein. Dairy is a, a very, very likely suspect when it comes to constipation. But I don't know what it is. It could be anything. Now, I could tell you a lot of, th- a lot of things to loosen your bowels. I'm going to tell you in a second. But I'd be more concerned by why is your intestine feel like it needs to freeze. So that's, you guys still, you're still eating something that's not agreeing with you. You've got to focus on that. Now, here's some strategies for just having a bowel movement, okay? Okay. These will give you, these will give you some short-term relief because you don't want to have toxins building up in your intestine. It feels terribly uncomfortable, as I'm sure you understand. So here's a couple things that will just loosen your bowels for an emergency. Number one, vitamin C. Get get yourself some vitamin C powder, put a half a teaspoonful, and then kind of gradually increase it up to a teaspoonful. If you do too much, you're going to get crampy, and you don't want that. So you want to find out where that just the spot is where you're going to have a bowel movement. Take you about an hour or two hours for the vitamin C to get through your system into the intestine, and you should have a nice bowel movement, especially if you've been storing stuff up in your intestines for a long time. You may have a really good bowel movement. You can also do vegetable juice. Get your, if you don't have a Vitamix, get one, uh, and then grind up fresh vegetables. The fiber in the, in the veggies will also have a laxative effect. Magnesium has a laxative effect. You can use the Beyond OsteoFX and the Healthy Start Pack, or you can get magnesium tablets or magnesium powder. I like magnesium glycinate. Uh, that has a, a nice laxative effect, uh, maybe 2,000, 3,000 milligrams of magnesium. That can help clean you out there as well. Uh, probiotics also can give you some laxative properties, and if worse comes to worse, and you're not getting enough fiber from the vegetables, go get yourself a coffee grinder, grind up flax seeds, and put the flax seeds either in a smoothie or in water, and just uh, drink up the flax seeds, and that'll also have a laxative effect. Now, if you do all of that, you may have too much of a laxative effect, and you don't necessarily want that. So kind of play around with the fiber, the veggies in the Vitamix, the vitamin C, and the magnesium, but most importantly, you have to check on, uh, you have to do a food diary and check on foods that are causing that constipation. And, and I can't tell you how proud I am of you, Cindy. That's awesome, awesome news. Congratulations. And spread the word. Tell everybody. Okay? I'm doing that. Okay, Thank one more so question much. if you have time. The uh, other you know what? I, you don't I, have time. Okay. I don't have time, but well, ask real quick. What's your question real quick? Okay, um, I'm a type 1 diabetic for 50 years. I have low blood sugar. That's been a health challenge as well as the high. I'm yes. on Sweeties, okay? My, my high blood sugars are like 90 to 130, which is amazing. But I'm having low blood sugar still, and I have no symptoms. I haven't for years. Low blood and sugar and high blood sugar go together. It's a sign that your yeah. insulin is overworking. you got to start to resensitize your sweet tooth or resensitize your sweet chemistry. So uh, do a fast and then uh, for one or two days, then start to reintroduce the sweet foods into your diet, uh, but very, very small amounts. And what you're going to notice is that you don't need as much sweet foods, and that includes bread and potatoes and rice, as you did before to get that sweet buzz. So you need to resensitize your sweet chemistry by stopping sweet foods and then reintroducing them in a much smaller amount. Okay? Okay, but that, I'm not on anything sweet except. Yeah, you are, ma'am. You, ma'am, you are. Yeah. No, ma'am. If you have high blood, if you have low blood sugar, your body, you're eating something that's spark, sparking up your insulin. You may not think it's sweet. Potatoes don't taste sweet, but when you chew them in your mouth and the uh, potato dissolves in your saliva, you'll taste the sweet. So sweets are disguised. But if you have insulin, uh, if you have a low blood sugar, you have an insulin problem, and that means something is getting into your system that's activating the sugar system, the sugar uh, chemistry. That's sweet. I do understand what you're saying. I do understand that. But I'm telling you, all I'm eating for my meals is Slender FX whey replacement meals, okay? Yeah. What do you, well, hang on, hang on. Do you ever hear something called lactose? Uh, yeah. Lactose is lactose is called milk sugar, and it's in yeah. whey. So just okay. the slender effects that just the slender effects could be doing it. 
Uh, See what I'm saying? You don't realize, we don't realize that we're getting these things in our system, but the chemistry reveals it. You know what I'm saying? Where there's smoke, there's fire. You can't say, oh, I have smoke, but, but I have fireproofing. Oh, I have smoke here, but I have asbestos in my wall, so there can't be a fire. No, you got fire. You got smoke, you got a fire. <laughs> if you have low blood sugar, you're getting something in your system that's activating the, the insulin, and that's, could, it could easily be the, the slender FX. I don't know what it is, but you have to backtrack to what it is. If you have hypoglycemia, period, if you have hypoglycemia, you got something activating your sugar system, okay? All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. God oh, bless you. And that's, that's awesome, awesome news. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. What's going on? Uh, welcome to the Bright Side. I don't know who you are, but uh, I, just, uh, I just opened you up here. Who is this? From New Hampshire. Oh, what's up, Brian? How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. I'm glad I could get a hold of you. Um, I actually uh, got an injury. I was skiing, uh, and I uh, fell down the mountain. Now, I, I'm having a hard time hearing you there, Brian. You, what's your question? You fell down the mountain, and then what? My apologies. Yes, I I ended up. I, I'm sorry. I, bro, I can't hear what you're saying, my friend. You're just cutting out, bro. And we only have about a minute. I, I got to get you to call back. I'm sorry, man. I I just couldn't understand you. Rose in Virginia got about a minute. What's going on? Yes, you. I wanted. Hello. There's a problem. We're having all kinds of we're having all kinds of phone problems. I'll call here. you next time. Okay, I'm sorry. I I, po I apologize to the listeners. I don't know what the heck's going on with the phones, and uh, the studio, and and we'll get to the bottom of it. So I I totally apologize. Uh, anyway. So, uh, if you guys are interested in checking out my blog, it's pharmacistben.com. You can also go to. Uh, 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 criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Check out my blog. If you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, love to have you on the team. Our number is 866-735-2470. You can talk to anybody on the Brightside Ben phone team for a one-time $10 fee. You can join the Brightside Ben team, start yourself a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, and of course, get your products at the wholesale price. If you're on the fence, just listen to this program and listen to the callers and listen to the success stories. I've been watching the success stories now since 1998. That's a long time, you guys, and I'm a healthcare professional. I'm not telling you this because I'm just trying to sell you a product or have you join my team. I'm a healthcare professional. I'm dedicated to your health. That's why I do this program every day. That's why I call this program The Bright Side, by the way, because it's the good news that says we can be healthy without doctors, without drugs, without the medical model, which at the end of the day could care less whether we live or die as long as it extracts our funds. Ones. All right, that's all I got to say. Thank you so much for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have an awesome, spectacular, wonderful day. Bye for now.